20 scandals involving the Queen's cousins you never knew. While the monarchy projects an image of decorum and tradition, even the late Queen Elizabeth's extended family's been rocked by salacious scandals over the years. From drug abuse to affairs to financial ruin, there's been plenty of drama behind palace walls. Here are 20 of the most shocking scandals involving the Queen's cousins you never knew. Number 1. Princess Margaret's Affairs While Princess Margaret was the younger sister to the Queen, she carved her own path as a royal rebel and woman about town. Her most infamous scandal was her forbidden love affair with Captain Peter Townsend, her father's dashing equerry nearly 20 years her senior. For years, the pair carried on a clandestine relationship even after Townsend's divorce, spurring heated debate about whether the princess should be allowed to marry her commoner lover. Ultimately, Margaret put duty first and declined to wed Townsend, but her love woes were far from over. She married Lord Snowden in 1960, only for that union to collapse a decade later amid his rampant infidelities and her heavy drinking. The princess's final years were marred by ill health and rumors of flings with her cousin's husband and other younger men seeking a royal conquest. Number 2. Duke of Kent's Drug Use Even the Queen's cousins haven't been immune to personal vices. In 1987, the Duke of Kent, Queen Elizabeth's first cousin, caused a national scandal after falling asleep at the wheel under the influence of alcohol and sedatives. His vehicle plowed into a truck, injuring several people, leading to revelations that the Duke had developed addictions after being prescribed antidepressants years earlier. The 52-year-old was forced to publicly apologize and was essentially exiled from public life for years as he sought treatment. It marked one of the most shocking substance abuse scandals for the royal family, followed by similar issues with relatives like the Duchess of York. For the Queen's straight-laced cousin, it was a sobering fall from grace. Number 3. Princess Alexandra's Secret Child For decades, salacious rumors have persisted that Princess Alexandra of Kent, the Queen's beloved first cousin, had an illegitimate child decades ago that was swiftly covered up. The whispers allege that in the late 1950s, when she was unmarried, Alexandra secretly gave birth to a son before marrying her eventual husband, Sir Angus Ogilvie, the supposed secret child was purportedly raised by a trusted royal staffer for years until his existence was allegedly revealed in the 1970s. While no definitive proof has ever surfaced, the paternity of the rumored royal bastard has been speculatively linked to everyone from Princess Alexandra's former romances, to affairs with married men, to even unsubstantiated claims of inbreeding within the royal ranks. The palace has never acknowledged the claims, ensuring the scandal remains one of the biggest mysteries in modern royal lore. Number 4. Lord Snowden's Extramarital Affairs By the time Anthony Armstrong Jones wed Princess Margaret in 1960, he had already cultivated a reputation as a playboy photographer with a wandering eye. That marital red flag only intensified over the coming years, as Lord Snowden indulged in a stream of extramarital affairs and flings that made him a poster boy for royal scandal. His dalliances with aristocrats, artists, movie stars, and even household staff were an open secret. One girlfriend memorably quipped he was rampant in his philandering ways. Lord Snowden made little effort to hide his indiscretions from Princess Margaret, leading to a bitter unraveling of their initially happy marriage in the late 1960s. Their 1978 divorce after 18 years was one of the first royal splits in decades compounded by the humiliation of Snowden's serial cheating. Number 5. Marquis of Cambridge's Bankruptcy For members of the royal family, wealth and privilege are seen as birthrights. That's what made the Marquis of Cambridge's very public bankruptcy in the 1980s such a scandalous affair. The Queen's cousin, Miles Fitzalan Howard, had inherited his noble title as a descendant of one of the sons of King George III. However, the Marquis squandered much of his inherited fortune through reckless personal spending and failed business investments. Despite having a net worth estimated at £4 million by 1985, Fitzalan Howard was drowning in debt totaling over £3 million. It prompted one of the highest profile noble bankruptcies in British history, as the Marquess was forced to sell his ancestral estate to settle his debts. For a prominent royal cousin who had grown up in the lap of luxury, it was a mortifying downfall that left him relatively destitute. 
Number six, Duchess of Gloucester's mental health struggles. While the royals have traditionally been tight-lipped about personal matters, the Duchess of Gloucester's bravely opened up about her struggles with mental illness in recent years. Brigitte, the wife of the Queen's cousin, Prince Richard, revealed in 2016 that she had been battling severe osteoporosis and had suffered a breakdown a decade earlier. The Duchess described going through some difficult times as she grappled with depression, anxiety, and an eating disorder stemming from her medical issues. Her candid admissions shined a light on the importance of mental health, often obscured within the royal family's stiff upper lip facade. While some saw it as a refreshing show of vulnerability, others criticized her openness as unbefitting for a member of the firm. Regardless, the Duchess has continued advocating for mental health awareness and sharing her personal journey. Number 7. Prince Michael's Financial Scandals As a minor member of the monarchy, Prince Michael of Kent has largely flown under the radar compared to more prominent royals. However, he generated significant controversy in the 2000s over his external business dealings and alleged willingness to sell privileged access. An undercover sting recorded Prince Michael and his wife seemingly offering to connect Russian oligarchs to prominent figures. For a fee, of course. He was also accused of exploiting his royal status to promote commercial products and real estate deals while being paid handsomely by foreign entities. These perceived conflicts of interest and pay-for-access schemes sparked outrage and investigations. While Prince Michael denied any intentional wrongdoing, he was forced to step back from most of his commercial roles and royal duties during the height of the scandal. Number 8. Lady Sarah Chatto's Art Scandal even relatively low-profile royals have courted controversy now and then. In 2021, the Queen's niece, Lady Sarah Chatto, ignited an art world scandal over the unauthorized sale of two royal family heirlooms. The daughter of Princess Margaret flouted protocol by putting two prized Venetian Renaissance paintings owned by the royal collection up for auction without consulting the monarchy's trustees first. The artworks dating back to the 16th century were subsequently sold for over £1 million combined to private buyers before the palace realized what had happened. The free-for-all prompted a royal reprimand and investigation over how the treasured pieces slipped through the cracks. Some cried of institutional failure, while others questioned whether Chato had abused her privilege in the high-stakes art world. Number 9. Lord Mountbatten's Rumored Affairs Lord Louis Mountbatten was one of the most decorated and highest-ranking members of the extended royal family as a great-grandson of Queen Victoria and uncle to Prince Philip. He was also rumored to be bisexual and an avid philanderer behind closed doors. While Mountbatten's wife reportedly turned a blind eye to his dalliances with men, his many affairs with women over the decades were even harder to ignore. He was linked to longtime love Edwina Ashley, along with other famous flings like Noel Coward's muse, Joyce Carey. One of his lovers described their rendezvous in vivid detail. Mountbatten would pick her up in a flashy sports car for Triss at his countryside cottage, where they virtually tore each other's clothes off. The respected war hero's ravenous appetite for romance partners of all orientations added a scandalous undercurrent to his otherwise heroic legacy. Number 10. The Duke of Windsor's Nazi Sympathies while not the Queen's cousin by blood, no discussion of royal scandal would be complete without the Duke of Windsor. As King Edward VIII, he triggered a constitutional crisis in 1936 by abdicating the throne to marry his divorced American mistress, Wallace Simpson. But the Duke also gained infamy for his shocking Nazi sympathies and ties to Adolf Hitler in the lead-up to World War II. Photos emerged of the former king fraternizing with German officials and performing Nazi salutes during overseas visits. Worse, the Federal Bureau of Investigation accused him of being a legitimate security threat who leaked sensitive Allied intel to the Nazi regime he so admired. Though later partially exonerated of treason, the taint of the Duke's unsavory relationships and fascist leadings overshadowed his final years in exile. Number 11. Princess Olga's Controversial Statements As a more distant relation, Princess Olga Romanoff may not share the prominence of the Queen's closest cousins, but she's certainly no stranger to controversy. The daughter of Prince Andrew Romanoff has repeatedly sparked outrage with her highly problematic public statements over the years. 
In 2008, she rashly defended her decision to wear a racist blackface costume by claiming she has a sense of humor about it. Princess Olga then stunningly argued that prejudice against black people had been normal once and dismissed her critics as too symbolic and sensitive. These tone-deaf comments were just the start. She's also made headlines for sympathizing with Russian President Vladimir Putin, spewing anti-Semitic vitriol, and defiantly opposing same-sex marriage despite other royals' evolving stances. Each impolitic outburst seems to outdo the last for this royal renegade. Number 12. Earl of St. Andrews' Marital Woes Even members of the aristocracy tied to the royal family haven't been immune to salacious marital scandals. In 1959, the Earl of St. Andrews separated from his wife Mary in a bitter split, following rumors he had taken a mistress. The Queen's cousin created a firestorm by then installing his younger lover, Rain Legg, at the family's official Scottish residence. Mary refused to divorce for years despite her husband's indiscretions, leading to a protracted separation and public mudslinging over affairs and negligence claims. When the Earl finally wed Rain in 1976 after divorcing his estranged countess, the controversy reignited as critics blasted him for abandoning his elderly ex-wife. The tawdry affair was one of the first to expose the marital strife and infidelity increasingly common behind palace walls. Number 13. Prince George's Mysterious Death Even royal deaths haven't been immune from sinister speculation and dark theories. When Prince George, Duke of Kent, crashed his plane in a fatal 1942 accident, the tragedy immediately raised eyebrows. As a member of the RAF and cousin to the king, Suggestions of foul play swirled given the mysterious nature of the crash and concealed flight records. While officially ruled an operational incident, conspiracy theorists claimed Prince George's aircraft had been tampered with or even sabotaged by Nazi infiltrators. Others insisted the Duke had defected to Germany after arguments with his estranged wife. Feeding the fevered rumors were George's alleged ties to appeasement circles and ostracization from the royal family over marital scandals of his own. While likely just a tragic accident, the Duke's shocking demise left a lingering air of mystery. Number 14. Viscount Linley's Furniture Flop The Queen's nephew, Viscount Linley, positioned himself as British aristocracy's entrepreneurial wonderkind with the launch of his eponymous luxury furniture company in the 1980s. What followed was an epic business scandal that nearly disgraced the entire Linley brand. Despite initial success marketing his bespoke creations, beloved by the royals themselves, the company floundered through extensive expansion and a disastrous retail push. Reports emerged of financial mismanagement, with Lindley accused of diverting millions into vanity projects. By 1990, the business went bankrupt, leaving a trail of debt and bounced checks to suppliers. After a controversial bailout from Aunt Princess Margaret, Lindley worked to revive the company but it never regained its burnished image after the Viscount's reckless ambitions tarnished the family name. Number 15. Duke of Gloucester's Land Swindle As a cousin to Queen Elizabeth, Prince Richard, Duke of Gloucester, largely managed to stay above the phrase and scandals plaguing other royals. That is, until the late 1990s when he and his wife were caught up in an explosive real estate controversy centered on their lavish country estate. Reports revealed the Gloucesters illicitly expanded their sprawling Barnwell Manor property by walling off and absorbing 336 acres of government land adjacent to their estate. A subsequent investigation slammed the Duke for usurping the public lands over decades through acts of deliberate deception by removing fencing and boundaries to stake a false claim on the new territory. Outrage mounted over the palace's perceived sense of entitlement as the Gloucesters were forced to return the land and pay fines. For the typically low-profile Duke, it was a land scandal that tainted his principled reputation. Number 16. Princess Marina's Extravagant Spending As a member of the Greek royal family before marrying into the British monarchy, Princess Marina seemed destined to maintain a lavish lifestyle. However, her free spending ways as Duchess of Kent raised eyebrows for their excess and disregard for finances. Marina reportedly ran up massive yearly bills in the six figures just on her wardrobe of couture gowns, furs, and jewels. Her indulgent taste extended to redecorating her palatial homes, with costs similarly soaring into the hundreds of thousands. Fed up with her runaway expenditures, 
The queen was eventually forced to step in and rein in Marina's indulgences by cutting off her frivolous allowances. It marked a harsh fall from excess from the once supremely wealthy duchess. Number 17. Lady Gabriella Windsor's Wild Partying For years in the early 2000s, Lady Gabriella Windsor earned a reputation as the royal family's premier party girl. The daughter of Prince Michael habitually tore up the London club scene in the wee hours, stumbling out of hot spots like Bougie's and Mahiki, looking distinctly worse for wear after nights of heavy drinking. Her exploits were constantly chronicled by the merciless paparazzi, who seemed to revel in capturing the disheveled, scantily clad Lady Gabriella in compromising poses night after night. While other royals married off and settled down, Gabriella's boozy antics fueled a perpetual bachelorette lifestyle until she reportedly cleaned up her act in her 30s. Number 18. Duchess of Kent's Public Meltdowns For as reserved and proper as the royal family purports to be, the Duchess of Kent has reportedly shattered that decorum through her awkward public outbursts over the years. On separate occasions, the hot-headed Catherine has stormed off in a huff while attending official events, once after berating staff for failing to provide refreshments quickly enough. After time, she inexplicably walked out of the Queen's birthday parade for reasons never explained. The Duchess was also caught on microphone lambasting a photographer at Ascot for obstructing her view. Though relatively minor incidents, they exemplify how even the Queen's cousin-in-law has struggled to maintain the composure and dignity expected from the monarchy's matriarchs. Number 19. Prince Edward's Rocky Road to Divorce For a time, the Duke of Kent appeared to have avoided the marital scandals plaguing so many other royals. That changed in the 1980s as his relationship with his wife Catherine became increasingly acrimonious amid rumors of his infidelity and her hair-triggering temper. By the 90s, the pair was separated and their divorce turned incredibly bitter over disagreements on a settlement. The split became one of the starkest examples of royal divorce proceedings playing out messily in the public eye as accusations flew both ways. The Duke quipped one Christmas that the divorce was the longest in history. Their protracted battle ultimately inspired Prime Minister John Major to push through long-standing reforms, streamlining divorce laws. Number 20. Lady Davina Windsor's Custody War One of the most recent scandals plaguing the Queen's cousins involved Lady Davina Windsor's tumultuous split from husband Gary Lewis in the 2000s. Their divorce quickly devolved into an ugly child custody fight over their two daughters as Lewis waged a protracted battle to maintain access. Legal fees mounted into the millions as the estranged couple waged war over their offspring's future leading Lady Davina to crowdsource funds online at one point. Allegations of improper behavior and negligence flew back and forth as the case dragged on for years without resolution. For a family member once viewed as living a charmed life, Davina's very public custody war exemplified just how messy even minor royal rifts could turn. From affairs and addictions to bankruptcies and bitter divorces, no controversy seemed off limits in exposing the dramas behind palace gates. So what did you think of these outrageous royal secrets? Were there any stories here you hadn't heard before or that simply left you stunned? Let me know your thoughts and reactions in the comments section below. And if you'd like to see more jaw-dropping videos, be sure to like this video, hit subscribe, and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. Thanks for watching, and until next time, bye!